exactly did you see in there? How did that feel to, uh, how did the impact of your fist feel against her? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, we planned for her to do one of two things, either come forward real heavy or kind of float back to, like, against the cage. And uh, as soon as we broke off, off the clinch and I saw her float back towards the cage, I just set up right, left, right. And, uh, I mean, she just kept going back, so I knew I had her at that point. So that was, so you guys saw that she does that? And you said yep, that yeah, we planned, we, we studied her extensively, and we planned very well for it, so. She's very confident, just yeah. swinging those, those hammers. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for 12 weeks, so, well, <laughs> basically, you know, for years now, but uh, these last 12 weeks have been, have been just a lot, a lot of work, a lot of work, so, uh, yeah. Is that, is that about as perfect as, as it could be? I always want better, you know. It would be nice to, to, to maybe move a little bit more, move my head a little bit more. But uh, you know, things aren't always planned. But uh, but I think it was a great win. Yeah. How did you feel at bantamweight? Uh, it seemed like the cut was fine. Everyone yeah. was talking about oh, it might be difficult, but yeah. how was everything? Uh, I really love that everyone was saying all that stuff because I feel great at 135. Uh, it's it's the fastest I've ever been. It's the strongest I've ever been. As I've been making my descent down to 35, all of my records have been going up. Like all of my PRs. Uh, like everything lifts, running, time, VO2 max, everything is just it's through the roof. It's insane. Your coach, uh, Safe in Fortis, I know he yeah. sets a high standard for your gym. Yeah. Is that more pressure going into you know a big fight like this on a huge card, or do you just embrace that and you know, want to really thrive on it? I just really embrace it because we a lot of that pressure is all during practice. You know, I, the it, Safe is like the ni nicest, most awesome coach like the week of because it's it's time to just have fun. I mean, we've already put the work in for months, you know, so the week of should be a good time. Those body kicks early yeah. on seem to be working really well. Yeah. Were you getting a lot of body or were you getting some elbow? Because you kind of went to the hands after that. Uh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what, you're, they, what you they, mean. It seemed like they were landing pretty good, but I'm asking you if they were. Oh, to me kicks. or to her? If she hit me with a body shot. The one you were hitting. Oh, the one I was throwing? Yeah, we worked a lot of body stuff, a lot of just high and low. Uh, it was a, it's been a lot of technical sparring just to kind of get an emotion of off of a flow. You know, I don't want to keep throwing a head kick. You know, she's going to keep her hands up if I keep doing that. So we wanted to constantly go high and low, you know, just keep her guessing. Uh, it was it was tough initially. You know, I, I've been working with the UFC Performance Institute and it's been 12 weeks. I mean, I run, I was running almost 30 miles a week, you know, just be, just because uh, we just didn't have that much time to slowly, slowly descent. You know, now we have a little bit more time. I have a really good regimen and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier, but initially it was pretty rough. You know, I wasn't used to running that, that much uh, for a camp. So the first four weeks I was, I was so sore all the time. I mean, my legs and my back and all that stuff. But uh, now that I'm accustomed to it, I mean, it's kind of, it's a piece of cake. All the time, all the time, every day I'm like, what the like, I can't believe I'm going through all this to, to, to get to a lower weight class. You know, there was always that high and low, but, you know, all the all of my coaches and all the guys at Fortis, all of my teammates, I mean, I had a lot of teammates that were running with me after practice. I'd run 30 minutes before practice, and then I would run 30 minutes after a very intense practice. Uh, and I had guys on the treadmill with me. And now now most of the guys just do it. It's just a part of their, their, their regimen. So uh, I've had a really good support system, and I think that's what's kept me going this, this whole time. Is 135 uh, permanently for you to go back to uh, You know, as of right now, you know, I've been telling a lot of people, we're willing to go up and down, but 135 is just, it, it feels right for me. You know, my body feels the best, you know, athleticism-wise, ath athletically-wise at 135. So we're looking, we're looking forward to, to being at 135 for a while. At the show, was it, was it your choice to go down, or did the UFC give you the fight at 135? No, uh, it, it was never predetermined. It was kind of something that we just talk, I talked about with my coaches, you know, and uh, we, we saw that, you know, there was a little bit of room. There was a little bit, you know, here and there to lose, and, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being leaner and stronger. So I think, I think it, it was an, an awesome choice for us. What do I lose? What did I lose? I, I haven't lost any strength. I've actually gotten stronger. Yeah, uh, my uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Mike Skacia, he's been recording all my numbers. And these last few weeks, as I've been making my descent, my numbers have gotten higher. I mean, my cardio, my endurance, my strength, it's its gotten higher. When you, when you walked into the cage tonight, were you the same weight or were you lighter than at 25? Uh, a little lighter, a few pounds. Yeah, lighter. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm taller. I'm I'm five eleven. Uh, you know, I have the reach. Uh, you know, pretty well rounded fighter from from my perspective. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I have a, a pretty big advantage over most of them. And the thing is, is that I don't have any room to be lazy. You know, I have to work that much harder all the time, which I don't mind. You know, at first people, at first I was like, man, this is going to suck. I have to do this all the time to stay this weight. But it's just, I just, honestly, I'm kind of addicted to it now. I just want to keep going. Is there anyone who wants to fight Max Stack? This is a huge win. I think yeah. put the division on notice tonight. That yeah. Uh, there's no one really in mind right now, but um, I think we have something in the works. I just I had a conversation with someone pretty big, so... Uh, so I think we might have something coming up soon, so we'll see. We could see you on soon because it didn't seem like you took much damage. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll see. So do you have a fight book? No, I don't have a fight book. No. Yeah, we got a little. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Who is this big person that you spoke to? Uh, we had a little chat with Dana after the fight, but uh, so good stuff. What did Dana say was impressive? Um, he just he just told me he didn't see a lot of girls knocking girls out at 135 like that, so uh. You know, and I love Dana. He's as soon as I see him, I smile because he's just he's just such a lovable guy. Um, so it made me really happy to hear that. Where do you feel you stack up at the three five? Like how quickly do you want to be thrown into the defense? Um, you know, like my my coach Sayev said, uh, you know, you better have you better have a vision. You know, you better have a goal, and the goal is to be is is to get ranked, and then eventually top five, go for the belt. How are you gonna celebrate tonight? <sighs> Hang out with my family, my coaches, my friends. Um, just embrace the moment, live in the moment. You know, this. Uh, everyone gets gets a little upset. Oh, I got to do media. You got to do this. No, this is the fun part. You know, you're you're trying to show everyone your personality and and who you are. And uh, just, I love being here and being in the moment. So. <laughs> yeah, it was Dr. John. Yeah, it was. You know, I miss my hometown. So I'm flying. I'm flying to New Orleans for a week. And I'm really not a big Mardi Gras person. Uh, my family is, but. You know, I'm kind of getting the itch, like I want to be around, you know, kind of that scene right now. Uh, yeah, I miss home. It's so cultural. I love New Orleans, and I just wanted to represent a little bit. You know, I've been, been away. I moved to Dallas, so love Dallas, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a little love to New Orleans. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.